Hey, this is Presh Tallwalker. Mr. White, Mr. Blue, Mr. Brown, and Mr. Pink are at a restaurant. Mr. Pink said, I can't believe it. The boss gave us names that match our shirt colors, but no one got the same name as their own shirt color. My name is terrible. Who cares what anyone's name is? said the person in the blue shirt. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. You have a cool sounding name. Maybe if the cleaners hadn't messed up my dark colored shirts, I would have worn a different shirt and gotten a better name, Mr. Pink replied. Yeah, I don't like my name either, said Mr. Brown. What is the color of each person's shirt? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. Let's analyze the statements that we were given. We know that there are four different people who are at a restaurant. Mr. Pink explains that they were given names that match their shirt colors, so the shirts will be the same colors as their names. But no one got the same name as their own shirt color. In our logical grid, this means we can eliminate the entries along the diagonal. Mr. White is not wearing a white shirt, Mr. Blue is not wearing a blue shirt, Mr. Brown is not wearing a brown shirt, and Mr. Pink is not wearing a pink shirt. Who cares what anyone's name is, said the person in the blue shirt. This implies that the person in the blue shirt is not Mr. Pink. So we can eliminate that Mr. Pink is wearing a blue shirt. When Mr. Pink replies, he says that his cleaners messed up his dark colored shirts. This means he was not wearing a brown colored shirt either. By process of elimination, that means Mr. Pink was wearing a white shirt. Furthermore, since each person is wearing a different colored shirt, that means no one else is wearing a white shirt. We have one more statement from Mr. Brown who says he doesn't like his name either. In contrast to the person in the blue shirt who doesn't care what anyone's name is. This implies that Mr. Brown is not wearing a blue shirt. By process of elimination, this means Mr. Brown is wearing a pink shirt and Mr. White is wearing a blue shirt. So we can eliminate that anyone else is wearing these shirt colors and that leaves that Mr. Blue is wearing a brown shirt. So this very last statement brings it all together and we can figure out that Mr. White is wearing a blue shirt, Mr. Blue is wearing a brown shirt, Mr. Brown is wearing a pink shirt, and Mr. Pink is wearing a white shirt. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Tallwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.